All right, in this tutorial, we're going to look at the uh, quoting mechanism within the BlueSeer ERP application. Uh, we're going to create a quote. Uh, we're going to look at the browse uh, capabilities of quotes. And then we're also going to look at committing a quote. Once the quote has been finalized and has been accepted by your buyer or your customer, we're going to look at committing that quote into a sales order so that you don't have to go and key all that information back in. So let's get started. Uh, one of the first things we need to do is create an item for our uh, for our specific quote. So let's go to inventory, uh, item menu, item maintenance, and we're going to do this from the point of view of a, uh, a machining company that's machining, uh, say, brass bushings. Um, we're going to create an item here real quick, three quarter inch brass bushing, uh, and, and we're going to sell these at 50 cents a piece. And then we're going to make it a manufactured item, and then we're going to click add. So real quick, we've added an item. Uh, so let's go back to our quote module, order, quote maintenance, and click new. Uh, Blue Sear comes with a specific customer called Acme in the initial download. Uh, you can create another customer, but for this purpose, we're going to use this uh, fictitious company, Acme. Uh, and one of the other uh, distinguishing fields in the quote master is uh, the type field. So there are two types of quote mechanisms here in Blue Sear. Uh, there's, a there's a quote for a discrete quote, a discrete order. Uh, the face value of the order, if it's a uh, thousand pieces at whatever price, that is the actual value that you're going to be quoting and that's the actual value that you're going to be ordering uh, once you do commit the order. Uh, the other type is the volume based, uh, volume type of quote. Uh, and these are for situations where you have break by pricing, by, depending on the quantities that that customer orders. So for example, if they order up to 100 pieces, they get a, a certain price, price A. Uh, if they order between 100 and 200, price B, 200 to 300, price C, et etc. et cetera. So that would be that type of pricing. Uh, but for this um, purpose, we're going to use discrete pricing. And then uh, we're going to choose the terms for this quote of net 30. We're going to leave the currency as USD, and then we're going to choose a quote expire date of the 29th. Just a random date. Uh, the other information here, the other fields you can leave as the defaults that they are. We're going to put uh, in the remarks, we're going to put test quote. Uh, the remarks do show up on the, the actual print of the quote, and it will get transferred over to the sales order as well if you commit the quote. Okay, so for our items, we're going to choose um, the item that we created, the three quarter inch brass bushing. Uh, we're going to say this quote to this customer is for a thousand pieces at 50 cents per piece. Click add item. Now you can add uh, non-inventory items. You can add a service uh, or any other type of charge or discount uh, for that matter. But any type of item as a miscellaneous item you can add other than the, uh, the inventory items which are the standard. Um, as an example, though, for that, you can, uh, let's say, for example, that it, this machine company that's actually making these bushings, they need uh, to purchase a, a form tool or a cutoff tool, and they want to pass that cost on to the, uh, the customer in the quote. So uh, you could add it as an item here as a miscellaneous item, but we're going to actually add it in the, the summary level. We're going to say it's a charge from the amount, and it's going to, we're going to call it a cutoff tool purchase cost, purchase or purchased. And we're going to say it was costing us $300. I'm going to click Add, come back to the main, and then we should have, say, $500 for a 50 cents at a uh, thousand pieces, and then the $300 cutoff tool brings us up to $800. And so we're going to click Add, which will uh, create the quote into the database. So now you have a quote. Uh, you can actually print that quote. Uh, you can send the pro quote to a printer. You can print it to a printer, or you can actually save this file. Uh, from the viewer here as a PDF file. And then, as typically the case that you would, uh, would have, you would save it as a PDF and then you would forward it as an attachment to your customer. Uh, and this, this is the way you can actually view the quote. And you'll notice all the information for the quote is there, the item, the quantity, the price, uh, as well as the cutoff tool purchased of uh, $300. So now we're going to demonstrate how to uh, commit that order. So we're going to make the uh, assumption that the customer accepts the quote and they are with, willing to move forward with uh, creating a sales order for it. So uh, we're going to click commit 
And what that will do is all the information that's actually in this quote will get transferred over to an actual sales order. Uh, and it tells you the sales order number that got created here. So I'll click OK. Uh, and at the same time, it closes this quote. So the quote is no longer valid. Uh, and it is considered in a status of closed. So if we go over to the order and order browse, we should see our, our order here. Uh, yeah, and here it is. Okay, so uh, the line items are there for this one item, the service charge for the cutoff tool, or the summary charge for the cutoff tool is there as well. And then uh, one thing to note that these, uh, these orders created from the quotes will be put on hold because typically your customer is going to provide you with a legitimate purchase order number. Uh, in this case, this number is actually the actual quote number. So let's just, for the sake of argument, say that the customer gave you a purchase order number of PO number 123. Uh, you may want to change the due date uh, of when you're going to deliver the parts, things like that. But once you've done that, you change the status to open and click update, and now your order is ready to be delivered. So you manufacture your parts, you ship your parts, and then let's say, for example, you just want to invoice the customer for it. Uh, click invoice, and then you have now invoiced that customer for that quantity 500 plus the cost of the uh, cutoff tool as well. Uh, and that gets committed to the accounts receivable, and then from the accounts receivable, you can actually apply payment once the customer pays you to the, uh, the accounts receivable record. Okay, uh, one last thing on the order and the quote, or the quote browse, you can actually look at the, uh, the quotes uh, that you have. You can sort them by number, customer code, date, etc. You can search by date, quote, or bill to, and you can search by active versus inactive. Now, in this case, uh, for say active quotes, there are none because we've closed that actual order, uh, that actual quote, excuse me. So this this status is closed for this quote, but uh, you can see here where you can you can look at the detail uh, of the line items on the quote, or you can actually go back to the quote itself. But this quote here is actually closed. Okay, uh, that just demonstrates real quick like the uh, the quoting mechanism within the BlueSeer application is real simple, real straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to support at bluesear.com. Uh, if you have any problems or if you find any bugs, also reach out to support at bluesear.com. It's the best way to report a bug. And uh, that email and other uh, contact information is available on the website at bluesear.com. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you.